Hi, and welcome to Project and Things. My name's Eve. In this episode, we're going to make a gun display case for four of these rubber band guns. So my son's best friend is turning five tomorrow and he has a birthday party. And me and my kids have played quite a lot with these rubber band gun things. So I'm gonna take this old tool case that my son fully doesn't play with anymore. And uh, I'm gonna make a gun display case that's gonna hold four of these rubber band gun things. I have two models of this thing. I have a smaller one that's for the kids and a slightly bigger one that's for the adults. So on a piece of Baltic birch, I outlined four of these guns and then cut them out using my bandsaw. Then over at our version of a dollar store, I found a ton of clothes pegs and a bunch of rubber bands for, yeah, a few euros. Using super glue and two tiny nails, I hammered the clothes pegs into the recessed part of this handgun. Clothes pegs are the firing mechanism. You just use your thumb and it shoots off. So the display case is an old tool case from my son's tools when he was very, very young. Um, he does play with the tools. He never really uses a case. So I figured I can repurpose this thing. I gave it a cleaning out and a good sanding to get rid of all the marks that were put on there. And the good thing about reusing stuff is that you don't have to go through the trouble to make it all again because this is already a wooden box with hinges. So I saved at least half a day not making a wooden box with hinges. Then it was time to make a few gun holders for them to be in place as the case moves around. I'm repurposing a lot of these tool holders that are in this box because they're already the right shape and size. Um, I just have to trim them a little bit to fit the guns.
using a combination of super glue and regular wood glue to hold all of these down and I'm gonna leave them in the clamps for about an hour while I go eat lunch. Two hours later. The outside of the case gets bats? I have no idea what bats is. The outside of the case gets a little bit of wood coloring. We call it bats. I don't know what that is in English. Um, and the inside is gonna get this dark red finish because most of the gun cases I've found online, the display cases at least, have this red velvet. Uh, I don't have red velvet, so I'm just gonna use dark red paint for this. Crimson red and a little bit of black acrylic paint, I was able to create the dark color on the inside of the display case. So now the main work on the body is done. The main work on the guns is done. Now it's time to add the ammunition. And our ammunition is rubber bands. These things are great. The only thing is that a plastic box of 100 rubber bands just looks bad. So I wanna create something in this empty space in between the two guns. So for that, my plan is to use a tiny piece, a piece of thin plywood that I make a very small box out of that fits in here. And then I'm thinking of spray painting that gold because uh, I think it could be a cool touch of gold in there. I'm not entirely sure, we'll see. So on to making the box while this stuff dries. The handle I'm putting on here is an old drawer pull that I saved from my old workshop. And last night I used the soldering iron to put the names of the kids and the two adults uh, on this box so they know whose gun it is if it's lying around somewhere. golden spray paint on the box that holds the ammunition but I ended up buying the cheapest of the cheap gold paints and it turned out silver so about nine coats later it is close to being gold so I'm never buying that brand ever again and I'm gonna stick to the stuff I know turns out gold um, my children decided to come and help which meant that all they did was essentially color in the two templates we made long ago Here's how the mechanism works. You open up the clothes peg with your thumb, insert the rubber band, release it again, tension it over the, the little, and then you can just tension it over the little, little? Why do I have trouble with the word little? Small, small. Tension it over the small V shape in the front, aim, shoot. And the mechanism is simple enough that also a small child can do it. And they all got a coat of wood oil to get protected. 
As always, I do things very last minute because the birthday party is in two hours and I just finished up this build. Now, all I have left to do is go and drop this off and have the kids shoot each other with rubber bands, which should be a lot of fun. So, thank you guys very much for watching. If you like these things I do, then please consider subscribing. There should be a button to do so below. And also here and here will be videos all about making stuff. So, thank you. Till next time. Bye.